At the bottom left of the interface screen are two important indicators. These are the data and queue progress bars. The top progress bar is the data entering the MakerPlot processing engine, and the bottom queue progress bar basically indicates how fast the data are being processed, and also what's left to process. Once again, now the top bar is the data progress bar. Arriving data are stored as data points. This allows data to be saved in a file, redrawn, and played back. Now, by default, MakerPlot holds 1,500 data points after which it is reset and then starts a new plot. That is, if we haven't activated the flush setting, and more about this directly. Now, a maximum of 60,000 data points may be stored for a single plot. However, more than 5,000 points is typically not recommended due to the time required to redraw them on the plot. As more and more data points are accumulated without flushing or resetting, the performance of the screen plotting begins to suffer. Now, for example, if plot shifting is on, that is by activating the auto shift arrow like, like this, it will take more time for the screen to refresh when the shifting occurs. Plus, we may lose data that's just coming in, and this will appear as a gap in the plot. So while more data plots are called for in some plotting applications, like when we want to capture a continuous sequence of data without gaps, the recommended thing to do is to keep the data points at a reasonable number like 1,500 to 5,000. Now, you can adjust the data point value by clicking on the configuration icon and selecting the data tab. Okay, there it is, and we'll select the data tab, and this is the maximum data point number that you can change. Okay, we mentioned flushing, so what is it? Well, right now we're set up for no flushing, meaning that our plot will continue until all 1,500 data points are accumulated, and then the plot will erase and a new plot will begin. We can go to the plot menu and see that flushing is not checked. Here it is, flush all data points, and we do not have a check mark by it. Let's watch what happens to the plot when flushing is not active. So, when the data points are completely filled, the old data is erased along with the plot. Also, the data progress bar will fill up entirely and then reset. Okay, it's filling up now. Now it's almost completely full and it just reset. Okay, now let's activate flushing. Go to the plot menu and uh, click on flushing. All right, let's see it again to make sure it's there. Okay, our flush all data points is checked. This tells MakerPlot, by the way, uh, that it wants to flush data and by the amount set below, which is flush amount by 25%. Right now it's 25%, but you can change this anytime, of course. Now let's watch what happens to the plot when flushing is active. So when flushing is on, the oldest data are cleared, the new data comes in to fill the gap, and we can see the same thing happen on the data progress bar. It fills up and then shifts the oldest 75% of data to the left, allowing new data to enter. Now the interesting thing is, our plot doesn't disappear, it just keeps on plotting. So that's the advantage of uh, flushing. Now, once again, as data enters MakerPlot, mostly from the serial data coming from the micro, but also from other parts of MakerPlot itself, like instructions being executed, the data progress bar begins to fill up. Now, depending on how many data points are set in the plot menu, you'll see that the data bar shifts to the left when the data points reach their maximum and percentage of older data is flush. Uh, that is if flushing is checked, like we have now. 
Now, right now, the no-frills plot is set to 1,500 data points. So when this level is reached, the data progress bar will shift by the set percent, allowing more new data to enter the queue, just like now. All right, now we've seen the plot shift left when it hit the maximum number uh, at, the, at the very end. And now this is the remaining amount of data that we had uh, in our data progress bar. So it's not the entire screen. It's only 1,500 data points. But we're going to continue to plot data as long as the uh, flushing is on and we're flushing older data and allowing new data to come in. Okay, now to the data queue. The bottom bar is the data queue progress bar. As data arrives from the micro or other sources like the log debug window, it's held in the queue while awaiting processing. Now, by default, the queue is set up for 20,000 points, though this may be adjusted up or down just like the data points. Now, you can adjust the data queue by going to the configuration menu and selecting the port tab. Okay, the port tab. Now, here is the queue size right now set for 20,000 points. Now, should the queue reach two times this set value, Makerplot will stop plotting data and automatically disconnect. The total percent of data is in the queue indicated by the progress bar. The queue is emptied of all data on connection with the COM port. So glance at these two progress bars from time to time to see how well your PC is processing the data. If the queue is filling up too often or if Makerplot quits due to too much data in the queue, then reduce the speed at which data is transmitted from your micro. Now this usually means putting a few milliseconds delay between data bursts or reduce the number of data points itself. That will keep your Makerplot performance up to par.